going on YouTube? It's your man, West Coast Gamers, a.k.a. Cali. Match was more Galbraith interaction. This is day six of our journey. And it's been stressful. It's been stressful. I've only achieved the goals a couple of times, and every other time I've completely bombed it. Polish Magic, four-year-old Colt. Speeds, 52. Stamina's 44. Breakers, all right. Long story short, probably not going to do much on this horse. We did run this horse earlier at Miami in September, and we finished 13th. Maybe we'll have a better outing this time. Over odds. Yeah, but I've been stressing trying to figure out what it is and I'm doing wrong. And advice or no advice, I got to figure out the, consist the inconsistencies within myself. One race, I'm getting the horse going too early. The next race, I'm starting way too late when the rest of the field's already too far ahead. And I'm not giving myself a chance. So we got to finish better than 12th in the field of 14. We got gate position two. He likes to be towards the front. So hopefully we can get a jump. A good jump and just kind of settle in, which is always the key. That's the major component for the beginning of the race. Then when it comes to the stretch, you have to make sure, one, you're not blocked, and two, you don't get going too soon. Which I've had a really bad habit of doing. No, it was not a beautiful start. Why did stop lying to me? <laughs> hey, Polish Magic, this horse is a little... Well, I was going to say over-eager, but we're, we're all right, I suppose. It's not bad. Yep, so we're going to stay right here. Hopefully this works for us. I think this is where he wants, to, where exactly uh, he wants to be. I don't want the rest of the field to get too much faster than me. I wanted to keep my position, and I did not. I allowed that horse to move in, and now we're blocked. Yeah, we got finished better than 12th. That's it. I would move to the inside, but what's the point? Because we already got five horses on the inside that may cause issues for us. We're already at our max. And he was rolling with this horse in front of us, which I believe is the seven horse. No, the six horse. Okay, he's rolling. Not sure if he's going to do anything. Ah, these horses block so bad. I don't know what we're going to do. Blocking. That's terrible. They literally get right in front of you. Like, there's nothing you can do about that. It's the AI just getting in your freaking way. It's literally the AI getting in your freaking way, man. It's the most annoying thing ever. And I don't even know if we finished where we're supposed to. We finished 12th. Gosh dang it. Stuff like that. It's out, of, it's out of my control, literally. I can try to get in the best position. At least the goal was reached. Look at his face. Oh my gosh. Look at his face. But um, that's out, that's out of my control, man. Literally. The movement, I gotta admit, is the one flaw of this game I absolutely cannot stand when it comes to that. Because you have to do so much to maneuver, then the AI just always gets in your way. Hi there, I'm Natalie Thompson. Nice to meet you. Well done on getting your own horse. You can now, you can be a main jockey too. Pour your love into that horse and it will take you to victory. Finally, I get my own horse I can run with. Jeez, that makes me happy. Makes me really happy. Finally got my own horse. And I don't even know who's, or who or what it is. But, um, yeah be a lot better running on a horse I most likely won't be the favorite so I won't have that pressure I'll be able to really work with him or her let's go ahead and I'll check the Academy right quick let's see these new lessons that we've unlocked if there's anything we may really need to look at the race screen oh it's not here uh, where is it uh, help I don't know if it's here or not. No. It should be on the lessons. I just don't remember where. Oh, there we go. Let's go forward, actually. Start, position, feel, spurts. Let's look at this. Once you reach the four furlong remaining mark, you need to think about timing your spurt. Consider the points below and increase your speed. 
Factors that delay spurt. A fast pace means you need to get going around 2.5 to 2 furlongs. On a long straight track. Yeah, so if it's a slower pace with a short track, then we need to get going around 3.5 or 3 or uh, the third furlong. Interesting. So depending on the, the pace of the race, we'll determine if it's a slow pace, we need to get going a lot sooner. If it's a fast pace, we need to get going a lot later. Guess that makes sense. It'll take longer, especially the faster pace races have longer straights. Interesting. Hopefully we can utilize that. So we got to keep tabs on how far, I mean, how close the, uh, or how fast the field is moving. We got all these things, which I may, may read in my spare time too good. A start can make it hard to then get into position with a closer horse. Uh, so aim for a slower start too good is bad. That's it. Aim for imperfection. This kind of start is just no good. Um, Take a slower start and then hang back at the rear. You have plenty of room for positioning. So keeping the horse happy is quite easy. However, some closer horses don't like other horses close to them. You see, there's a lot of different stuff in this game, guys. A lot of stuff. Horses have different personalities. Tracks and long straights. Don't start with anything near the corners on the tracks with longer with long straights. Rather save. Stamina left over your legs for the end. If you have the stamina, you can even take the lead between three, the three and four corners. Okay, so tracks with long straight, we shouldn't start going until we're actually on the straightaway. Shorter tracks, we need to get going a lot sooner. Oh no, it's it's a sh the shorter tracks, we need to get going to the 2.52 furlong marker. And that usually is probably on the curve. But for a track with, long, with a slower pace and a longer straight, we don't have to get going until we're literally almost on the straight. All right, so let's go home and... I said we have our own horse. Finally. I wonder which horse. The my horse tag has been added to the schedule. Use the left and right direction buttons to adjust. And my horse is a horse that you are the main jockey of. Ride it well, please the trainer, and you can be its main jockey. My horses have a number of vital roles. They earn horse titles, allow you to change the race they run in. Always aim to, to obtain a high ranking my horse. Polish magic is our horse. All right. Once you are a horse's main jockey, you can change the race it will run in once every time you race. So this is officially our horse. If you do not like the race selected by the trainer, you can select the race that better suits the horse. Awesome. So just looking at this horse, 7 to 13 furlongs front runners. So we can run a lot of races. Polish magic is our horse. And uh, yeah. So let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Likes to close in the race. That's perfect for me. So, wanted to start all the way in April. That's way too long. We need to get a race like now, like in January. Seven to thirteen. The six furlong race on the dirt. It's too short. Okay, we got an eight furlong race in Miami. New Year. Let's go ahead and race here. All right. So. Great. Now we actually have a horse, so we don't have to negotiate riding on other horses. And since that's the case, I want to get used to riding on this horse. No stress. We don't have certain goals to reach. So whatever we finish is whatever we finish. But of course, finishing higher than we're projected is always going to be a good thing to, for us to do. So we are going to 41 to 1, almost 42 and 1, 11th projected. Let's take a look at the field. Say so no pressure, no pressure, no target. So I can run this race and just do my best to finish well. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my best to just finish well. If I finish better than I should, we'll get more eval points. If I don't, we're going to struggle. All right. This track appears to have, I don't know how long the, the straight is yet. Um... It seems like this track may have a longer straight. I think. I could be completely wrong.
Yeah, the field's moving a little bit. We don't want them to get too fast. Remember, if it's a fast pace, then we have to get going a lot later. If it's a slow pace, we can wait to get going. So uh, if it's a fast pace, which I feel like this is a pretty fast pace, um, we'll have to get going at the 2.5 to 2 furlong mark. Our first lap was 12 seconds. Every lap since has been under 11, or has been at about at 11. So they're definitely moving at a lot faster pace. That 12 horse is rolling, and he's the big long shot. Uh, so the 2.5 to 2 furlong point is when we start going. According to the rules. Okay, here we go. Now we go. Let's see how this plays out. Don't know what we're going to do. We are the long shot. We may come in dead last. Unless we're able to outrun a horse. Oh man, exhausted already? Don't come in last, come in 11th. Okay, we came in 10th because the other horses got much more tired than we did. <laughs> that works. Finishing better than what we projected, but uh, uh, that horse got tired. I got him going at the, the 10 mark. Um, as long as we finish better than what we are projected, I guess goal reach will always be the, the key. Like I said, I can run on a horse that's probably not going to be a favorite for quite some time. So I just can continue to finish better than what I need, build up slowly. We'll get more eval points for that. And then eventually we can start finishing better with top tier horses. 790 eval points. So, yeah, I thought I got going at the right time. Hey, Callie, how was your first ride on your own horse? Good. Well, be sure to never forget this feeling. You must treat your horse with even more love and respect. Of course, always, man. Horses are beautiful creatures, man. Love them. Anyways, uh, that wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I mean, we achieved our goal. So we need to uh, polish magic. Forgot if these horses have stamina or not that needs to be monitored. So the growth for this horse won't be until it's about five or six years old. That's when it's really going to be in it at its best. So um, that's great. We can work with this horse for quite some time. Uh, and this horse, I believe it prefers to run on turf, if I'm not mistaken. So, let's run it in another race. Not this soon. Oh, I forgot. That other horse we ran on that was like crazy. Uh, he was over eager to race because he hadn't raced in a while. He was mad. The mood up in the right corner, it's green. So, the horse is pretty satisfied. If it goes to yellow or something other or something else, that means that the horse has been ran too many times and he needs to rest. Uh, so seven furlongs to 13 is our goal. Uh, what else do we qualify? Can't run any races this week. You can run the seven furlong race in the dirt at, uh, San Francisco. Let's see how we do. Let's go back to this horse. You know, we pretty much finish the same every time. Yeah, we're not finishing below 10th. But like I said, I'll take the consistency. We need those eval points. Putting us on a favorite horse and we don't even have the jockey skill to win with that horse is technically our issue. And that's why those races are worthless. And instead of getting 700 plus eval points that can be added to our jockey stats to make us better, we instead come in a worse place and only get 70 eval points. So that's why it's very essential to, to know your limits. It's very easy to think that, oh, I can just win every race. But with that mindset, it's just going to take so much longer. And that's why I'm only choosing to run on this horse from now on in races where I don't have the pressure except of finishing above what I'm supposed to finish. No place, no win, no show. Whatever my odds are, which are probably low, finish above that. We get eval points. And eventually, we'll start being in a position where we can win more. We are the long shot once again. And I'll take it. Like I said, I'll take it. We may be able to find a group here with Polish Magic and actually make something happen. Let's look at the rest of the field. Yeah, I'm really content with being on a horse that uh being on a horse that is not project predicted to win. Like I said, projected and predicted to win. It's just less stress. I can just run the race, feel the horse out more, and just finish better than what we need to. So I always hope you all have been enjoying. 
I know it's probably been painful to watch me lose, but this game is hard. I promise you. You may look at it and be like, oh, this is easy. It's not. This is not. From somebody that's played this game a long time, this it's not easy on hard. Let's just say that. It's not easy on hard. It's definitely a challenge. So you got to grind and... That's why I wanted to. I wanted to grind. I didn't want it to be easy because previously when I played it would be too easy. I would get up. It took me about maybe a year to the point where I would start winning. It's been over a year and I haven't even won a race yet. I've came in second but I haven't won. So it's a lot harder. Definitely. And uh, yeah. I don't know if this track has a short. Uh, yeah, This track definitely has a short uh, straightaway. We're at our max. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know where we're going to go. We have no room. Well, we got some we got some potential. We're the long shot. We just got to finish better than what we're projected. I mean, predicted. I always want to say predicted and projected. That's such a tongue twister. We'll take it. We'll take it. Like I said, I just got to keep finishing better than what we're projected to finish. 10th out of 12. Goal reached. That's all that matters. We get those eval points. Look at that. 1,300 eval points. The feel was great. That's my point. If they put us, if we were to be on these horses that are the number one favorite and our jockey just isn't at that point where he can win on those horses. We fall in a bad place. We get less races. And like I said, instead of getting 13, 1,330 evaluation points I just earned, we would get like 80. Defeats the process, man. You got to know your limits and you got to race where you can get some efficient work done. Good to meet you. I am Max Newman. I am still just a beginner, but any advice you have would be great. I am searching for the ultimate writing theory. Please let me study your writing too, Callie. Sure thing, Maximilian. Yeah, so we're good. We still haven't developed anything major yet in terms of like attributes, but uh, there's a couple of horses he can have us ride. But like I said, I just don't want to do that right now. Polish Magic, I think it has potential to be a great horse. I'm going to continue to ride him. Now, G1, grade one race in Washington, D.C. on the dirt, eight furlongs. I said, let's give it a shot. Can I ride without 10 wins? Register anyways. Oh, so I can register my horse, but I couldn't ride it. That sucks. Miami nine furlongs. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it and see what happens. Once again, we just got to finish better than what we currently are. And continue to get our eval points. New season. Okay. So let's race. It is spring upon us here in the horse racing season and gallop racer. Polish Magic is our official horse. We can run on it whenever we want and whatever race we can enter it in. Yeah, we don't have to stress about anything about finishing above. Long shot once again, which is always going to be the case. I think naturally, I mean, I've entered this horse in eight six no i know seven through nine furlong races i haven't tried anything higher maybe this horse is a long distance horse it might be it might be a long distance horse uh, so maybe our next race we'll try something a little longer even though i hate longer distances of course we still have the target goals but like i said we don't have to worry about trying to run on a horse that's expected to win we haven't mastered the racing mechanics of the game yet to be on those horses it's a lot easier to you know finish higher with a long shot horse than it is to actually win with a favorite i know it sounds bizarre but that really is the case no i just don't want the rest of the field to move in on me or move up on me still a lot of things too i don't even i probably don't even understand how my horse likes to run as good as i should the horse no the pack is moving the pace is moving pretty fast I want to get him inside. Get him up just a little bit. He's going a little too slow. Come on. A little too slow. Come on, get up there. He's there. Their leaders are rolling. Is he sleep? Yeah, he's sleep. And that's because I couldn't get him where he needs to be. So this race is already looking bad. Already looking bad. 
we're gonna have to do so much we're already exerting a lot of stamina just to catch up And, uh, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. Don't know what we're going to do. We got a chance. We are the long shot. Too little, too late. Yep. Too little, too late. We could have passed those horses. We had plenty of stamina. Too little, too late. Bad start. Yeah, the pack rolled on us and we weren't able to get adjusted. But that's a goal reached. Somehow. I don't... How... <laughs> we were the long shot. We finished. I mean, we were... I don't, I don't know how that works. But, like I said, that's why I'd rather just run on my own horse. We don't have to worry about any stresses of... Anything else in terms of finishing higher than what we should. So we'll do one more race and that'll conclude it for day six here. <sighs> just I don't want to stress. I, I'm tempted to run on his other horses, but just I don't need it. We're on a three goal achievement streak right now. We need to keep it. Uh, let's see. We can run either the 10 furlong in Miami or the 12 furlong in Toronto. This horse, I think, can run up to 13. I guess we'll do the 10 furlong in Miami. Um, yeah, so. We'll see how this plays out. Last race. Like I said, hopefully you guys are enjoying. And we'll take it from there. That's all we can do. Skip a couple weeks till it's race day. It's me, Newman. You have done some interesting writing recently. Please allow me to include you in my research. I am expecting some fine data from you. I'm going to fast forward a week. Fast forward another week. And another week. Race day should be upon us. There we go. Last race. Uh, with that race, um, too little, too late for one. I should got going a lot sooner. Can't let the pack get away from you, and you can't get too far ahead, or you're gonna die in the stretch. So we're projected to be ninth here in this race. Not terrible. I would, I still would prefer a, a close runner, not a front runner. I still would prefer that. Prefer that, but hey, this is our horse. We're gonna work with it, and hopefully, like I said, we can. Get it to a point where we can start placing a lot higher. Gotta get him up. Chill, 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 chill. There we go. Just had to get him up there because he didn't get out good at all. I wasn't trying to get left behind by the pack. So if the pack's moving, I move too. Just gotta nudge him a little bit. Keep him motivated. Keep him in the race. That's the key. Your horses, if they're not where they want to be, they'll get bored, and then that's when your rating drops down in terms of uh, your 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 connection with the horse in the race. You have to have jockey and horse connection have to be in balance. If uh, your horse isn't where it wants to be, it's going to fall asleep, and then it, the race is pretty much a wrap. It's just not going to be excited. We're conserving a lot of stamina, though, by running the way we're running. I'm going to move outside just a little bit just so we can get some running room. Just nudge him a little bit, see what he does with it. Okay, we're at our max, moving a little too fast. We're just going to tuck in right quick. Okay, All right. Move about side, just tap him up a little bit. Tap him up a little bit. Tap him up a little bit. Oh, man. I got going way too late on that one. I think we got it going way too late. Way too late. 
Of course, he would get right in front of my face. Yep, good going away. I mean, got going a little too late on that one. We finished worse, so did not reach our goal. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. Oh, well. That's going to do it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. As always, remember, if you did, please smash the like button. More Galibracer action coming your way. Other gameplay videos as well. Appreciate all the support you guys who show. We'll be back for, I believe, day seven. I believe we'll be on day seven, right? No, we are. This was day seven. We'll be on day eight next time around. So that's going to do it. She made West Coast Gamers, aka So Kelly Sounds. And it's going to pull you up a great end.